In this video, we'll look at whether potassium sulfide, that's K2S, is ionic or covalent. So is the bond between this potassium atom and sulfur atom, is that a covalent or ionic bond? We can look at the periodic table divided by metals and nonmetals. Potassium, that's in group one right here, so that's going to be a metal. Sulfur right here, that is a nonmetal. A metal plus a nonmetal, that means we have almost always an ionic compound. So the bond here between the potassium atoms and the sulfur is going to be ionic. You might ask why we have two potassium atoms for one sulfur atom. If we look at the periodic table here, and it's divided by groups, the charge on each group, the potassium right here, one plus, I'm going to write a plus here, and then sulfur over here, that forms two minus ions, put it two minus. So we need two of these one plus ions, potassium ions here, to balance out the sulfur. And now because we have positive and negative ions, they're going to be attracted and they're going to form an ionic bond. So in answer to our question, potassium sulfide, K2S, is ionic. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.